Hello everyone, it's Steven here and I'm bringing you another unboxing video. This time it is the Figma Yugi, or Yami Yugi to be more specific, or Atem technically, I whatever name he's deciding to go by now. And this guy I picked up from AmiAmi, and he ran me about $60 shipped because he was in a big order with a few other figures. So now, unfortunately, the Japanese sellers are starting to realize that this guy is kind of hot, so they're starting to bump the prices up. So if you're really interested, you're probably just better off buying from a third-party seller on Amazon. It was like 70, 75 bucks shipped, and that's about how much you would pay if you would go to import it or get it on eBay now. So whatever's best for you. So as we take a quick 360 look at the box here, we can see that it is rather bland like most Figma boxes these days with a purple color scheme and some promotional shots of the figure. So without any further ado, since you pretty much have an idea of what the box looks like, it's not all that interesting, let's open Yugi up. So we have a tape seal up here at the top. And all I gotta do is cut that to open up Yugi. Or it says in the box, Yami Yugi, but, you know, so many different names for this guy. So, let's see, do we have anything else inside the box that's hidden? Nope. Nothing there. So, let's see what we get here. So, we get Yugi, main body here. We get a nice little stash of items down here. A bunch of hands, a stand, instructions, and a little Figma baggie. And then up top here we get an alternate faceplate aside from Yugi's normal faceplate. And we get an alternate set of eyes because one of the gimmicks of this figure, as you can sort of see on the back here, is that it has interchangeable eye parts. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I wonder if they're going to have that moving forward. But anyway, over here we get an alternate arm piece for the dual disc, which actually looks really, really good from what I'm seeing from here. We get a single card, we get a handful of cards, we get his cloak, his cape, whatever you want to call it, and we get the Millennium Puzzle. And I've really been liking this accessory from what I've been seeing in the pictures so far from people having it in hand. But anyway, enough chit chat, let's get to opening up Yugi. So you got a quick rundown of the accessories, so we're just going to take a look at Yugi himself. And if you're interested in a more detailed description and look at everything, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the review. Alright, so Yugi's awesome spiky hair is protected by bubble wrap, which that's nice. I noticed the Nendoroid uh, Majora's Mask Link also had that in his box. So that's nice to see that they're taking a little bit more care of their figures in packaging. So getting a closer look at Yugi here, we don't get too much protective plastic, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it can get really annoying. So checking him out real quick to see what moves. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought he would have a neck joint down there, but he doesn't. Hmm. Okay. So I just came from opening up the uh, the Revel text. Oh, there we go. Okay, just a little. Oh, now that is cool. I think. I think that's cool. I don't know if that's cool. I don't know. The shoulders are confusing me a little bit. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. Um, so review will be up soon. I have the Revel Tech. Yu-Gi-Oh! figures to review. I've got a few different card stuff I want to upload. So yeah, whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff coming your way soon. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you subscribe. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. And like I said, be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.